I believe it is important for every believer to understand that God answers our thoughts, not our words. Our words will release angels, but God will answer our thoughts. No wonder why the Bible declares in the book of Isaiah 65, 24, before you call, I, the Lord, shall answer you. Before you call, I shall answer you. Meaning God does not answer what comes out of your mouth, but God answers what is in your spirit or thoughts. I know one will ask, but Apostle, if God does not answer what comes out of my mouth, why am I calling? Why am I praying? Because if he does not answer that, I might as well as keep quiet. I might as well as not pray. Well, your words or your prayers will release an angel. Let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 10. The Bible then declares there that when Gabriel came down, he said this to Daniel. Daniel, from the first day, you set your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts to seek understanding. Thy prayers were heard and an answer was given. Wait a minute. He was answered on the first day, but what did God answer? His thoughts, because from the first day you set your thoughts to seek understanding, thy prayers were heard, meaning God hears our thoughts and answers our thoughts. But listen to what Gabriel is saying. But I have come down because of your words, meaning what comes out of your mouth releases an angel that is supposed to come down with your answer. Believe it or not, everyone watching right now, including yourself, you have your own personal angel. And we see that in the book of Acts chapter 12, when they said it must be Peter's angel. We see that in the book of Matthew chapter 18 verses 10, when Jesus speaks about the guardian angels uh, for the little ones. Now watch this. Since you have a guardian angel, since you have a personal angel, that very angel is responsible for everything that God will release from the realm of the spirit to the realm of man, which is the realm of time. It is the very same angel that the day you were born, that angel actually helped you to come to this realm. It is the very same angel that the day you die will take you back to the father. Luke chapter 16 verse 23 tells us so that when the rich man died, he went to hell. But when poor Lazarus died, an angel was sent to carry him to the bosom of who? Father Abraham. So now you know that you have an angel. Now here's the mystery. The mystery here is that every time you are to pray, make sure that your confession matches your belief system. What that means is what is in your mind, what is in your spirit must always match what will come out of your mouth because God is not moved by what you say but God is moved or moves because of what is in your thoughts so God answers what men cannot hear so a lot of people will confess good things will say good things will say wonderful things will say great things as they pray, but their thoughts will be saying something different from that which is coming out of their mouth. And God does not answer what comes out. God answers your thoughts. That's why you find people saying, but when I pray for other people, people get healed. When I pray for other people, they receive their answer. It's because at that moment, your thoughts and your words are saying one thing. Hence, God is able to use you to answer their prayers. But when it comes to you, you are whining. You are murmuring in your mind. You are complaining. There's so much happening in your mind. But then again, you want God to follow what you are saying. That's not how God 
operates. It is important that we understand the words of Apostle Paul when he said we must not be conformed. We must not be brought down to the system, to the level, to the patterns of this world, but we must be transformed by the renewing. Renewing there is a future continuous thing. Renewing, I-N-G, renewing of your minds because it is through the mind that we serve the Lord. Remember, Jesus said, not everybody saying to me, Lord, Lord, shall see the kingdom of God. And the Bible then explains why. He says, you say, Lord, with your lips, but your thoughts, your minds are far away from me. So God does not move because of what one says. Of course, angels move because of your words. But the only time angels will move, they will only move if or when God answers your prayer because they don't move according to your will or their will. They move according to God's will. So from today, every time you pray, make sure that your thoughts are pure. Your thoughts are purified. God is after your mind. The enemy is after your mind. No wonder why the Bible says, let the same mind that was in Christ be in you also and never stop 